I think Kiss is a lot more exciting than four slobs walking on stage who need a shave. Our music is intentionally easily accessible. We don't try to make the music too complex and too self-indulgent so that our fans can understand it. We're putting glamour back into rock and roll. We try to make it as colorful as possible. We're not making art. We're, we're playing rock and roll. collection double platinum with tensions running high in the band casablanca decides to release a greatest hits record while the band takes a much needed break released on april 2nd 1978 this is a complete kit in excellent condition it has all the goodies and it also includes an insert the kiss army winter edition 78 i'm not sure where this came from or what it is but it was in the record if anyone has any info on this please comment the album was packaged with a printed platinum award, thanking the KISS Army for making the band a double platinum success. The gatefold jacket is just gorgeous. It was wrapped in a silver foil embossed finish. A KISS one of a kind, for sure. I was afraid to leave fingerprints on it when I got my hands on one. The LP shipped with a Casablanca Filmworks honors KISS labels. Love it. This is the new for 78 double platinum KISS gear insert in black and white with red print. I wish there was a merch order form in every record I bought. I just love the vintage headquarters address labeling. Try getting free prepaid postage nowadays. Three dollars for a t-shirt. That was big bucks back then. When I was eight years old, my pops bought me double platinum on 8-track. Up until that point, I had only known what KISS sounded like by listening to the Alive LP. When I pushed this 8-track into the slot, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It sounded nothing like the kiss I knew. I was duped and told my pops that the store sold you a fake. He decided to believe me and took me back to Kmart to return the tapes. You know, the place with the blue light special. I told the woman at the store that this was a fake and that they should be ashamed of themselves for selling us this. At the time, I hadn't yet heard the first three kiss albums. They sounded nothing like the live kiss I had heard on Alive. This is proof enough that Eddie Kramer was a genius producer, and Alive would be that sound that sold the band to the world. Okay, enough childhood reminiscing. This is a 1985 Polygram reissue. It does not include any of the inserts. Although I added this one, I found this excellent copy online, and I couldn't resist. This LP is not a gatefold, and it does not have the foil embossing as the original release did. It ships with the Filmworks label, honoring KISS, with the Polygram branding. The vinyl is nice, and it's definitely a piece of history at this point, and more unique than it was when it came out. In 1985, Polygram stopped releasing the original albums and only released the latest ones that the band was making. Mercury would not re-release any KISS vinyl until 2014. The 2014 reissues are collectible at this point. Here we have an excellent Japanese copy. The LP was released as a reissue in 1980 by Polystar Records for Casablanca Filmworks. The LP does not ship with any of the US inserts. This one has a yellow obi ribbon with the KISS record catalog printed on the inside. See my Alive 2 video for the history lesson on the obi sash. It does include a lyric booklet written in Japanese and English. It ships with the Filmworks label with the Polystar branding. It does not have the honors printed on it. This is high quality vinyl. You will pay more for Japanese copies, but they are worth every penny. You would think it's 180 gram wax, but it's not. The cover is made from high quality paperboard that feels more like cardboard. This copy has the foil embossed gatefold jacket. There is a bit appealing on the front cover, which is a drag, but I did get a good deal on it. I included my childhood platinum record card. Of course, when I was eight years old, I glued it to a collage and I ruined the back of it. I did find a US merch form online, which is currently in the mail, and I will add it to this copy for prosperity. The original paper sleeves are clean and free of mold. I always like to keep the shipping labels from my imports. I just love all the different markings on the Japanese records. It even has Ace Fraley's birthday on here. Okay, and that'll do it on this episode of My Kiss Collection Double Platinum.